So here in Moodle, we're going to have a look at what happens when we add new assignments to our course, and in particular, what happens in our gradebook and how this is important for students. So we have a completely blank course here in terms of assignments. We just have our Meet Your Instructor video, and we're going to have a look at how we populate this. So if we come up to our grades here, we'll come to our grade report. You'll see we have our list of students. We have the course total we don't have any assignments within that course, so no grade items within that course. So there are a few different ways in which we can make those. The first is if we come to our course homepage, we're gonna to come up to the top right and turn editing on, and then in week one, we'll add a simple assignment Dropbox. So we'll add an activity or resource, we'll create an assignment, we'll call this week one essay, and we can add activity instructions. We can do this later as well. And you can modify when submissions are allowed from and when the due date is. We're gonna leave those as is for the moment and just focus on what this does within our gradebook. So we'll save and display that. And so now if we come back to the homepage of our course, you can see in our grades, just turn editing off here, we have our week one essay, and that's basically forming 100% of our grades. Now, if you look back to your syllabus, it's unlikely that your week one essay is going to form 100% of the grades. So where we can manage this is in our gradebook setup. So if, for instance, we have our week one essay carrying a weight of 5%, then we can type that in there. And if we save the changes here, essentially these weights in this column will always need to add up to 100%. That's the easiest way to kind of manage how the weights work. But Moodle will, by default, give each item a weight of one. So you do need to come into the gradebook to manage these settings. If we come to topic two here, and we'll turn our editing on again, we're gonna add a quiz in topic two. Just click quiz, we'll call this week two quiz. And we're gonna leave the defaults as is, and we'll just save and display that, then come back to the homepage of our class. You can see it's listed here for students. We would need to add questions to that, but in particular in relation to the grades, when you create a quiz, again, we'll turn the editing off here. You can see now these two items are both listed here. So if we come to the gradebook setup, then you can see my week two quiz again is carrying a weight of one. So if we type in a five there and save the changes, then each of those is carrying a weight of one. Now with those two fives there, it will basically mean they were equally weighted within that 100%. So we do need to add other grade items. Now you might not always have online submissions. You may just have work that is submitted in class where you need to submit the grades directly into Moodle. So for that, we can use the add a grade item option here within the Moodle gradebook. So we'll call this final essay, and we'll have a maximum grade of 100. This doesn't matter actually in terms of the, the final weighting of that grade, but we'll save the changes. And so now you can see this weighting is zero. So we'll set this to 50% for our final essay. And essentially as we add more and more items, we can gradually make sure everything balances out here up to 100. So we'll add another item here. We'll go to topic three. We'll turn our editing on, and in topic three, we'll add a forum. Now you'll find all these items in the activities or resources tabs here, but most items within Moodle can carry a grade. So I'm gonna add a forum, and we'll call this group discussion forum, and we'll save and display that. And so now if we come back to the homepage of our class by clicking up at the top left here, we'll go to grades, turn editing off, and we'll come to our gradebook setup. And you can see the forum doesn't actually appear in there immediately. So we do need to change some settings, some items to actually make them appear in the gradebook. So we'll come to our homepage, we'll come into our discussion forum and into the settings. And in here, you can see you've got an option for whole forum grading. So at the moment, there's no grade there. So we can give that a scale grade or a point grade. So again, a mark out of 100 or a scale grade, which could be, for instance, a fail or pass. So perhaps it's just participation within the forum that you're looking for. So if we use this scale, we'll save and display that. And so now as soon as we added a grade option for that, when we come back to our grades, you can see now a discussion forum is listed there. And we're going to come in to our gradebook setup, and we'll give this a weight of 20 and we'll save the changes. Now it's unlikely our discussion forum will appear before our final essay. So I'm just gonna use the up and down arrows here to move this 
above the essay. So you can see we can move things around easily. And now we have our weights adding up to 80. So 50, 70, 75, and 80. So we still need 20% of the grade to be accounted for. So we'll come to topic four here. We'll turn our editing on and we'll add a week four quiz. And we'll save and display that. And then in topic five, we'll add another assignment. We'll call this mid-term essay. And again, make sure your availability and your due dates are all set up correctly. So I'll hit save and display, and we'll come back to the home page. And then in the grade section, turn editing off. We'll come to our gradebook setup, and we've got these two items now: the week four quiz and the midterm essay that we'll need to reorganize. Actually, I think we can just move the final essay to the bottom here, and each of these will have a weighting of ten. Save that. So now if you're looking at a simple gradebook setup, then as long as these are all adding up for all the assignments you're giving to 100, then your gradebook is set up perfectly. So it doesn't actually matter what the maximum grade is in the maximum grade column. So we're giving a grade out of 100 for our week one essay. We're giving a grade out of 10 for our week two quiz, but the weighting is five. We have pass or fail for our forum with a weighting of 20. And then for our week four quiz, we have a grade out of 10 and it's actually weighted to 10. And then for our final assignments, they both carry a max grade of 100, but they're weighted to 10 and 50. So basically, as long as these things match your syllabus, then you're good to go. In another video, we discuss adding categories, which can be helpful in terms of, for instance, grouping quizzes together in the gradebook to make sure that things are nicely organized and also maybe you're adding more quizzes throughout the semester and you want your grades to continue to be balanced out. So I definitely recommend watching that. But I hope this has been a useful intro into what will happen when you create new assignments or quizzes or forums that you want to carry a weight for the final grade. If you have any questions, then please do get in touch.